So um, we're standing just, uh, we'll probably step up and get a closer if we yeah, can. Yeah, let's get over yep. here a bit. Yep. You can see a side profile. So this is the power all that we've seen back in Australia. Um, same solution, but obviously we're now opening it up bigger to the world. 15 kilowatt hours of uh, battery, expandable up to 30 kilowatt hours. So you can have another rack of those three batteries right next to it. Five and six kilowatt inverter, full EPS, full um, uh, black start capability. The unique advantage of this product over many other products, most other products is each one of these batteries has a PCS built into it, which means that every battery, think of it, my, my, think of it like an optimizer. Yes, yes. Every battery is doing its own thing. So the beauty of that is twofold. One is if one of those batteries were to fail, 10 year warranty, if one of the batteries fails, you don't lose the whole system, you only lose that one battery. So if you've got 15 kilowatt hours and one of those batteries dies, you're still able to draw on the 10 kilowatt hours left over. The second part of that is that we can RMA that at any point in the future. I, I don't think people realize that, that the fact that generally when you get a, a parallel battery system, they all have to age together. Correct. Because there is no individual PCS at a battery level. Correct. So this is something that's a very unique feature for us yep. um, and it works exceptionally well. It also allows for expandability, which for the same reason you can't do with most other batteries because you have to have the same state of charge. We can put one battery in today, another one in six months, another one in two years. It doesn't matter. You can bolt onto that system at any point in time and of course you can replace them at any point in time. So it's a really good feature and it's an amazing price point for the Australian market for people to get into the battery market. So this would be great as a, a you know a, a, for a new build site. Basically, you've got solar, you've got batteries. But what about AC coupling? You can AC couple this to an existing solution. Depending on the age of that inverter, you might want to think about just replacing it and only having that in your in your garage. It is IP65, so it can stay outside. Um, and this is exactly how it looks. You don't see any cables. Well, you know you've installed one, right? It's all rear entry mounted, so you don't see any messy cables. There's no additional gateway boxes. Everything is exactly what you see there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you're gonna see a, a bit of a flush of people swapping out their old inverters in Victoria because all the feed and tariffs will have finished. Correct. No one's hanging on to that 60 cents next year. It's gone. Exactly. <laughs> so this is a great time for us to have this product. Yep. It's a great time for people to look at the next evolution of their solar system at home yep. and to say, well, that 60 cents has served me well, but I've probably only got a two or three kilowatt system. It isn't big enough when I go back to zero feed in or 15 cents, yeah. it's not gonna do it. We've moved a long way since then, obviously we now, everyone, one in five systems in Australia has a battery attached. Um, wow. According, according to the Sunwiz data. Wow. Um, so it's, it's pretty impressive. People are starting to realize that energy security, ROI is not as important as energy security for a lot of people. Yeah. But the ROI is coming down on these. This is a very affordable system, comparative to other things in the market. And when people do the numbers, they can see it and understand, maybe it's worth spending a few extra bucks and I can still pay it back in three years. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to always stay up to date with the latest videos from So Far Australia.